everyone, this is my video review of the Funlux 4 channel 720p NVR system. So this is the system right here. This is one of four cameras. As you can see, it's very compact. Um, when you get it in the box, you will need to attach the antenna in the back. It just screws in there. And then also screw in the base. They do provide the hardware for you. So if you want to mount this on a wall, um, it would just go into those screws. And then also on the base, if you loosen up the little screw on the side, you can adjust the angle of that as well. So you can choose to either have it just sitting upright like I do right now or on a wall. And then at the end of the plug, they have a regular just USB plug-in. And this is the electrical cord, so you get four of these to go with each camera as well. And then this is the NVR itself. Um, pretty simple, it'll hold um, five gigabytes of memory on there. I've got the power cord already plugged in and then also the cord they provide for the ethernet cable. You do have a charging port here, or not charging port, I'm sorry, a port for hooking up a monitor. You've got an HDMI port, um, a little port there to plug in a mouse, and then also to back up your system, and then the reset button. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different setup. Normally you would be um, doing this off of your computer for the original setup and then you can move it wherever you want. But I'm going to have mine actually working off of my um, network extender. So I have moved this into the central location in our home which happens to be our lounge area. So you'll have to excuse the little theme in here. Um, but because these all work wirelessly and they don't need to be hardwired into anything, um, I wanted this to be as centrally located as possible. So what I'm going to do now is just walk you through the whole setup process. The first thing I'm going to do is plug this into my network extender. So we are now hooked up to the data part. The next thing that you want to do is go into um, your phone or your tablet Download the free app, it's called MeShare, M-E-S-H-A-R-E. -E. I'm sorry, let me zoom in and focus there. This is a free app. I do have five other cameras, four are outdoor cameras and one is an indoor camera. The outdoor camera I'm waiting to hook up. Um, unfortunately, I broke a rib a couple weeks ago, so that has kind of slowed me down from getting that installed. Um, the indoor camera I do have working now. So, when you get the app, it's going to ask you to um, set up an account, and that's just a sign-in process. You would use that any time that you get a new device, and just log in that one time. After you do that, it's going to take you to a screen that's going to look more like this, where you just see the plus sign. So this is showing you my camera that I currently have in my living room, or I'm sorry, it's my family room. Um, that'll give you, oops, let me open it up actually. Turn it sideways, then it shows you what it looks like on there. So what I'm gonna do, let's go back to this home screen. Down below, we've got a plus button there. And it's asking me to add the device. So on the screen, it says connect your smartphone to the MeShare app. I'm gonna see if you can see this too, Oops, sorry. And um, it's that simple. Press power on your smart device and then ready. So let's hit ready. Now next, we're gonna configure your wireless smart device. Hit next, down at the bottom. And then when your device's LED is blinking green, it's time to set up. And it says this may take a moment. Well, there we go, let's hit next. It has now found my pass, or my Wi-Fi. And I am going to go ahead and put in our password for that. Okay, so I have typed in my password now for my Wi-Fi, and let me focus in here. It has found the five working cameras that I have in my house. So the bottom one is that single camera that I have that I mentioned. And as you can see on the far right side, we have an add button located next to each camera. Now I have this camera um, already plugged in, and the other three I have kind of around the room at different locations, so um, you have something else you can look at besides this one camera. So basically all I'm going to do is hit the add button to each one and then it wants me to name them. So when I do that, as you can see there, it's bringing me up some um, options there that they already have preloaded. So if I want to do home, bedroom, office, living room, door window. I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put these just yet. 
So I'm going to name them Fun Lux 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then hit Done, and then Finish down at the bottom. And then it asks me here, do I want to share this camera with any of my friends? Well, no, I'll do that later if I choose to. That's something you can do um, in the settings. So I'm gonna skip that step and just say later. And now you can see that first camera is up and working. So that's the first camera. Let's move on to the next one. We're gonna do the same process all over again. Hit the add, name it and finished and there's camera number two which if I go sideways there's our bar area we'll come back and look at these in a little bit but let me just keep adding all the other cameras and I'll be right back okay I am back so let's take you through all of the cameras that I have here so this is camera one you can see by the name up here in the corner if I turn it sideways, it's going to give you a larger image. And then let's go through what we have down at the bottom. We have a little video icon that if you press that, it's actually now recording. So this means if you're not at home and you get some sort of alert that something's going on with your camera, you can just go ahead and start recording that all on your own. Um, you can see the countdown here, how long it's going, and then you just simply press that to um, turn it off, it's told you it was saved. You can also take an individual snapshot there. The audio buttons are not gonna work for this, but right now we actually have this in the low definition. And I find that's perfectly fine, um, especially because you don't wanna like use all your memory up. So if we were to switch over to high definition, you're gonna see that there is a difference in the picture quality but it's also going to take up more of your memory. So there's the high definition. And I'll show you again what it looks like compared to the low definition. So really not that big of a difference, but again, if you really want to, for any purposes, zoom in on somebody's face or something and get a much clearer per picture, you can do that. Uh, let's see, um, time and date is already showing up here right across the top. So that's already done. I'm going to show you some screenshots real quick here about the different device settings. Uh, this is where you can go in and uh, rename the devices, set the camera schedule, if you want to have um, notifications sent to your phone or not, also how you would go in and share that. So you'll have to do this to each camera and the settings um, icon is up on the top right corner of your screen and again do that with every camera. If you do choose to um, share the camera, you can share it via Facebook, your contacts, or an email address. Now, this camera, I want to take you through all the different cameras that we set up there. So there's camera one, two, three, and four. And number four you'll see is actually um, dark. It's in the low light settings, which is exactly what it's going to look like at nighttime as well. And in the nighttime setting, it does actually record up to 68 so that's quite a bit of difference. I have to say I'm very impressed with this camera system. Um, I really love the clarity and how easy it is to set up as you can see. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Here's one last shot to show you how it looks and thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.